everyone, this is Gypsy Jueller. I'm going to tell you a story that happened to me some years ago, many, many years ago, that I almost got possessed by a demonic figure. When I was staying at Bukit Timah, we used to have, I used to stay in a big semi-detached bungalow house. It's two story and it's very huge. But we do not have a maid or a servant. But we do have a helper that comes on a daily basis around 7 a.m. in the morning and she will go back every day around 12.30 to 1. Monday to Saturday, Sunday she doesn't work. She will clean the house, ironing and all. So one day, this lady has to go away. She has to go to Malaysia because a relative is getting married. So she will be there for about a week. Now, because the house is huge and we have dogs and all, there is no way that we can handle the house without a helper for one week. So she recommended someone who was staying at a place, her kampung, to work for us temporarily when she's away. Of course, we will have the, temp the, the person's number and how to contact the person. Just in case, the person will come exactly like her, 7 o'clock, and will go back at 12.30, doing the same work as her. The only difference is... You know, in case we want her to come earlier or come later, we can always call up to arrange accordingly. Now, this number is the number of the helper that's going, the part-time helper that's going to help us, the mother's number. The helper herself is about mid-20s and she's a very skinny lady, woman, very skinny as though she's anemic, very skinny, and we when she first came, we, we actually said, can she work? She is so skinny, Can is she able to work? But they convinced us that yes, she can work. The first day of work, she came, everything was fine. And surprisingly, she's a very bubbly, cheerful girl. So we're happy, at least, you know, this part-timer doesn't show face and work well. On the second morning, around, I still remember around, 10.30 in the morning, my room is upstairs because it's actually a two-story uh, house. So we were downstairs. Suddenly, I heard noise in my room as though there was a fight. Bloom, blam, boom, blam, 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 boom, blam, 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 all kind of sound in my room as though people bang my bed or, you know, like as though someone is literally fighting. So it was so shocking that me and my then mother-in-law looked at each other I went up the step, our staircase, to see what happened. Because it was very, very, very loud. It's as though somebody is fighting or a robber came to the house, whatever. When I opened my room door, I saw this lady that was supposed to do the housework was on the floor and she was trembling, shivering and moving all over the place like as though she got fits or epilepsy or, and moving and her mouth and her face was at the side lying down with foam coming out from the mouth, white foam and she was growling, groaning it was so scary that then my mother-in-law and myself just closed the door and went downstairs we did not even help her it was really very very eerie and scary when we went downstairs, straight away, we took that, we had the number, remember? We got the number of the mother that we can contact. So the moment we contact the person, we just say, Hey, your daughter, there's something wrong. Your daughter, she's trembling. She's, she, the whole house is knocking, everything. Straight away, the lady just say, as though like she know what's happening. The woman just say, I'll reach your house in 10 minutes. Just like that. Really, in 10 minutes, because they're staying near our house. She came with two men and they went upstairs. Of course, we also went upstairs. And these two men helped this lady to go down and go home. What is so frightening is that from the time we talk on the phone until the time the family members come, she was still on the floor, moving, 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 growling and trembling and with more and more foam coming out and making a lot of noise, okay? It's really very scary sound like, like some, some animal or things like that. What is worse is when the two men lift up to carry her down, I nearly 
vomited, I got giddy, nauseating, and my so then mother-in-law had to take her hand to cover her nose. The whole floor in my room, there is a pool of blood. Thank you.